right, what's going on guys? For this video, uh, I'm not gonna pull up the, the actual attack box. I'm just gonna walk through it. It's very simple. This is the uh, the final video for the Burp Suite path. And really this one is kind of, it even says it in here, it's outside the scope of the beginner Burp Suite. Um, but it's good to know and something that you guys should mess around with, but we're not gonna do much with it here because they don't give us anything to test it on. So we'll go ahead and the first one, it's just telling you, explaining it. All right, so what is the extender interface? So as you see here, we have our regular repeater, sequencer, decoder. We've already gone through those. The extender, what it does is it actually allows you to add extensions that you can either code yourself or someone can code them for you and you can download them off the B app store or you could get them third party. Um, however you wanna get them, you can actually install them and it allows extra functionality in Burp Suite. Um, we'll cover a couple of these to kind of give you an example of what they're talking about and what it is. Um, so that way you guys know, whoops. All right, so this is what it looks like. You can add the extensions and you can also remove them, but you need to make sure that you have them downloaded if you're going to use the one that you want. So that, that's where you go to the B app store here and they're gonna to explain to you. So this little GIF kind of shows you B app store and there's a bunch of them here, right? So you can see just looking at them, some of them are, I know there's the Python or Jython, whatever they call it, which is one we'll cover, but they want you to, the request timer extension, this is really good and there it is, the Java request timer. So what it does is it actually tells you the exact amount of time that it takes for requests to get sent and received and so on and so forth. And the reason that's so good is because as we saw before when we were using some of the other boxes, sometimes that time limit actually means something. So it could mean, hey, if it's a successful login or unsuccessful, the times change. So you can tell just by the times um, that what is going on on the back end, that type of stuff. Um, but you can see here, that's all it is, is you go to Extender, you can go to the B App Store, and you can start downloading some of these um, some of these different ones. And I'll show you guys, because I do have the box running, and I'll just show you guys real quick the list of them. Because there is, there are some useful ones in there, but it, it's all dependent upon what you want to use it for. And you'll see, but basically they're loaded in. Um, they also have in this the, the option for APIs. For the, if you don't know what APRs are, that's way beyond the scope of this box, but basically it allows integration with other tools and things like that, so um, we won't go through that, but all right, so now we'll just go ahead and start it. Not really sure why you need a hint for this. Oh, it's just telling you to, just giving you an option. But okay, so then we go to Extender, and we can go to the B App Store. And we're just looking at different ones here that we could possibly use. Okay, I can't move it for some reason. Um, so like, look, like auto repeater, it'll basically automatically repeat for you. So you don't have to sit there and click next, 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 you know, so that's kind of nice. Um, some of the more popular ones, this is a five star popular one. And it tells you exactly what it does here. It runs with every possible permutation for query based payloads, for instance, uh, do, 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 do. example.com API v1 users and basically it's just changing every single possible URL to, to, to chat test it for you I mean you could do a lot of this stuff without burp suite too. keep that in mind if you see other people do different things like Durbuster and stuff burp suite does the same thing it's slower so it's an all-encompassing all-in-one tool that's the difference and the advantage to Burp Suite. If you have time, you can make Burp Suite do everything for you and then also take that and export that log and have a nice dashboard or a nice presentation to present to whoever your customer is at the time. Um, Auto Wasp, I'm missing this checks the, yep, so a Burp Suite extension that integrates Burp issues logging with OWASP. So that's really nice, it's gonna log with it. Um, Let's see, the one they said to look at was Logger++, that's on their hint. So we'll go ahead and look at it real quick. There it is, Logger++. Okay, it's multi-thread logging extension, so. Okay, so it allows for advanced filters to be defined to highlight interesting entries. 
Okay, so it just allows you to take the logs that are there and actually manipulate them to almost like a seam and give you what you want, right? Uh, notes, that's pretty self-explanatory. So you can see how this can, these can get a ton of them here, but you can use them very easily, right? You could actually do a lot more stuff with these extensions, and that's what they want you to look at. They want you to mess with them. I'm not going to go through all these. Obviously, there's a ton of them. But it's good to know that you can do these because it's important. Well, we're not going to update right now. But it's important to know that these are these options are available in case you're looking to do some of these. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, yeah, I remember I can look at the B app store and see maybe that's what where it's at. So this one here, they're talking about Jython. So Jython pretty popular, pretty common. Um, we can go here and just search it. And, doo -doo -doo -doo. and of course, it didn't pop up. We'll just go down to the J's and see if it's there. I actually don't see it, but oh, that's why, because it's not in the B app store. You have to download a third party Jython website. Basically, it allows you to run Python scripts in your burp suite. It's very useful, very common. Um, it's, it's one of the more useful ones because most hackers um, prefer Python. I wouldn't say, I, I shouldn't say that. A lot of hackers prefer Python. I, I'll never speak for other people, but um, Python is very user friendly and very easy to get into, and it's helpful, very helpful. So it's very nice to have a Python ability in Burp Suite. Um, let's see here. So then it says here, these are the API sub tabs. So if you go to APIs, boom, and you can see they actually have some for you, and these are the packages themselves. But what it's going to do, like this listener here, that's really nice. You know, it's going to allow you to. And it says right here, you can use the Burp Suite Extender APIs to create your own extensions. So again, you're going to create an extension that works with whatever you're doing and therefore customize Burp Suite's behavior. Um, this here is just saying, look at a couple of the APIs, find one that interests you. Easy. And that's it, guys. This one, this was a very easy video because they didn't give us any tasks and they didn't give us anything to actually... Um, test with right so and i understand why it's it's a little harder to do that um but that's it this this is just an entry to the b app store and the apis and let you guys understand that there is more functionality with burp suite and you can make it as advanced or as easy as you want so keep that in mind guys hopefully you guys have enjoyed the burp suite learning path um i feel like it was pretty good i feel like we actually learned a lot with the burp suite learning path and i think we're going to continue, obviously, with the junior pen testing, and hopefully we can knock that out. It's still, I think the whole thing was 56 hours, so we're a little bit more than halfway done with it. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it, and if you are, please hit that like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys, and hopefully you guys have a great day.